and welcome to another part of design your own level tutorial. In this tutorial, what we'll be doing is um, using Blender to create the couches that we saw in our reference um, video for Mirror's Edge Catalyst. So we are going to create these couches. Now, I basically um, judge my own sizes for them. So if I look at them, they are roughly about a meter by a meter. But this piece over here is a meter from the armrest to that piece there. And then this piece is a meter to about that piece over there and then vice versa. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a base to start with. I'm going to start uh, creating the couch piece over here. And then I'm just going to sculpt some details and make it look a little bit more like the couch inside of the game and then by the end of this tutorial we would have sculpted a piece and have everything ready to actually um, get to texturing it and then importing it into Unreal Engine 4 in the next video. But for this video we're mainly going to focus, focus on sculpting the couch and and then just getting it, it ready so that we can bake normal maps and create um, higher detailed textures for it. So what we're just going to do now is let's jump back into Blender. And if you remember that these walls I exported from um, Unreal and their sizes actually corresponded with the Unreal units which were in meters. So all of these are effectively in meters. So just quickly what I'm going to do is first I'm going to just enable screencast so you can see which buttons I'm pushing if I don't mention. I'm going to hold shift and select all of these and then uh, push control J to join them. I'm going to go into side view and author graphic view and then just kind of like drag it up so it's level with the grid. Then I am done with the walls. I'm going to hide them. This is my cube. You can see the default startup cube, it is two by two by two. So in the Unreal units, that will be two meters by two meters by two meters. I am going to scale this down to one by one by one. And then I'm going to tab into edit mode, go into wireframe mode, and I'm going to move this up to about there and take this piece and move it down to about there. So now we have a start cushion that we can work from that is effectively one by one meter and 30 centimeters tall with a 10 centimeter gap between the floor and it for if we want to put legs or anything like that i'm going to so just give it a name i'm going to call it a uh, couch base then i'm going to hit shift d to duplicate it and just move a piece away so that we have a, just in case uh, we have a reference to start with. I'm also just going to delete these two. I don't need the camera and the uh, uh, light inside of my scene. So, and now we're in front view. What I'm going to do is then go into the modifiers tab. I'm going to add a subdivision surface. Just make it a simple and then push the levels to six and click apply. You see that nothing has happened, but if you go into uh, edit mode, you'll see that it did actually increase the details if we compare it to this one um, of our mesh. So I'm going to jump into sculpt mode. I'm just going to go into symmetry and disable the X mirror. Um, you push F to increase your brush size and shift F to increase your intensity or decrease it. So I'm going to go with a fairly low intensity and a medium sized brush. And I'm going to hold shift and then just move around the piece. So you'll see that it's kind of like giving the corners a smooth edge to kind of match up with what we want the couch to look like. Yeah, it might be a bit much. There we go. And we're just going to keep on doing this until we've actually done all the corners and all the edges. And there we go. That's the start of our couch cushion actually complete. Uh, now we're just going to add like some minor details. Like I'm going to hold control and then just 
go around. So it actually might look like someone has sat on it. So we'll do just something like this. So it just actually gives it a, a little bit more detail. So maybe a bit much, but that looks okay. So for the first part, that's actually our cushion complete. But if we go into the side view, uh, we are going to just quickly, well, let's go into the front view first. I am just going to select this piece over here, uh, the one that we made a copy of, and I'm going to shift D again and just move that to the side and move it in line go with this one over here. So now we're going to create the backboard piece. So we're going to create that piece over there. But now that piece is probably overlapping over here a little bit. So probably about 30 centimeters. So let's just quickly go into wireframe. I'm going to reduce it to about that size. Just make sure it's snapping to grid. There you go. And then move this over like so. And then from here, I'm actually going to move it up and then move it back. So now we can just have a quick look at it. If we go into our perspective view, that that actually looks okay. I think the, the couch being a meter long might be a bit much. So what I'm going to do is then just uh, scale it down. Let's scale it on the X axis. Oh, I have the wrong one selected, X axis. And we're going to move it to about there. So that looks okay. And now we're going to repeat the same process as we did before. We're going to add a subdivision surface. I'm going to give it six levels. Simple, click apply, go into the sculpt mode, and then do exactly the same thing. We're going to, just going to smooth out the edges. And even the bottom piece over here. So it actually is two separate pieces of the couch. Go, and we're just going to keep on going. Okay, so once again, I'm just going to add some details over there, maybe something like that, to just make it seem like someone has actually sat here on it and leaned back a little bit. Maybe put some little dents over there. There we go. So that is essentially our base complete and the back piece as well. So this is, as I said before, this will be like our centerpiece because with it being a, a meter wide. Now our side pieces need to be a little bit smaller. So what we can just do is we can just let's shift D and duplicate it move it to the side and then we're going to scale it let's say to 80 centimeters both pieces there we go the reason why we're doing this is once again because we want to add like a side armrest piece that's going to be about 20 centimeters wide so i'm just going to select that piece again shift d to duplicate it now i'm just doing the duplication because it's just easier and quicker for me. You can hit shift A and add like different sides at different planes, but every time I'm going to add a cube, the cube is going to be fairly large. This will be in line with everything that I'm currently creating. So uh, that is why I use it like that. I'm just going to go into side view, scale it down to about that size. And then the side needs to be overlapping, I think roughly about that much. So we can just keep on jumping back and forth and see, does that look okay? Uh, maybe a bit little. So a little bit more, it was actually quite high. If you compare it to like the image we're looking at, if you see it there, 
I said it's fairly close. I think it's like in between that. So uh, let's just do something like that. There we go. And then we're going to just go into top view. It's a little bit too forward. So I'm going to scale it back to about there. And then it's the same process of subdivision surface, uh, six levels on simple, click apply, and then jump over to sculpt mode and just get out of wireframe mode and smooth out the edges. And then once again, we can just add some details to actually make it look like the couch has been used or has been here for a while. Okay, so effectively that is our couch completely done, um, except for the leg pieces and the other side. So oops, let me just go into object mode. So in order for us to like just get an idea what it looks like, so I'm just going to hide that one, is I'm just going to copy all of these again by holding Shift D, move it to the side, and then hit scale on the X axis by negative one. Is it X, sorry, scale on the Y axis by negative one. There we go. And let's just go through that view again. and then into perspective view. So there we go. The only thing that bugs me a little bit is that the base still actually looks a, a little bit big if you compare that with that size over there. So we might scale it down uh, or scale it up just like a little bit. Maybe it should be 20 centimeters. So let's do that quickly. Let's see what that looks like. 0.2. Okay, that's slightly weird. There we go. And 0 0.2. And we're just going to select all of these and just move them up a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. Does that look okay? Or is that a maybe a bit much? Uh, this is going to be all dependent on your eye and what you're going for. So I think that might have actually been a bit much. I think 0 0.25 is kind of the size we're looking for. That's uh, already starting to look better. And then we're just going to select them, go into the side view, and make sure that they line up. And let's just go again. And there we go. That, that that actually looks that looks decent that looks proper that kind of looks like what I was going for uh, to try and match up to this so now we have our details there's only um, one more thing we can add the leg details but that isn't actually required for the final piece of this um, the leg details will be something something very small you can create the cube and then just scale it all from that level to the floor. So now what we have is we effectively have like uh, three different pieces. So I actually want to join everything quickly. Um, select two pieces, hit Control J. These pieces, hit Control J. These pieces, hit Control J. Okay, I think this one inverted its normal. So I'm just going to select it quickly. Select all and click normals and recalculate outside. Yep. That's what it did. That's why it looked like that. So, um, if your color suddenly changes and you don't know why, that's your normals that are inverted. Uh, effectively, what that means is that all the um, faces are displaying on the inside of the model. So you'll get like a inverted look. It will just look weird. I'm just going to hit smooth shading actually to see how all of these would look if they smooth shaded, and that looks pretty good. So basically for this part of the tutorial, we are currently done. 
Um, next part, I'm going to show you how to do some retopology. We'll add the legs onto the couch and then we're just going to get into um, baking our textures so we can bake some normal maps and then add other details to it as well. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe, leave a like, um, leave a comment and I will see you in the next video.